Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on this channel. If you're new here, my name's Shireen and I talk all things sewing and homemaking. So if that's something you're into, then I would love if you joined the sewing family. So today is one of my favourite videos to make. It's my Me Made May sewing plans for 2023. I may be being a little bit over ambitious, however, that's how I like to be. If we don't get to complete all of them, then that's also okay too. Before we start, let's share what I'm wearing and what's on my mannequin. So this is one of my latest makes. It's one that I made to take to Mauritius on my holiday. And it's this lovely kaftan styled top. Um, it's a really lovely length. It is made using the recalls M8090. And it's a lovely kaftan style dress. Really beautiful length with two tiers and a little tier on the sleeve. This was actually a really challenging make because of the neckline. It's very intricate with interfacing and the instructions were super complicated. However, I really love how this turned out and I have worn this so, so much already. Um, this is the sewing pattern here. So there's lots of different variations that you can make. You can make one with an extra tear, one with no tear on the sleeve. You can make it completely sleeveless. Yeah, I really love this one and it's one that I definitely would make again. I think if I was to make it again though, I would probably make this part a little bit thinner because I think it's quite chunky and where I haven't got as much of a neckline, it can be just very bulky at the front. But other than that, I really, really love it and I've already worn it so, so much. The fabric is this really beautiful, lightweight cotton and it's got a really nice metallic thread running through. On the uh, junctions, I've used this really lovely sort of crocheted style trim, which I actually picked up from the range. So if you want to watch that video on the haul, I found so many different types of trims and bits that I think you would love. So if you want to see that, then I will link that video down below. But yeah, really love this one. I highly recommend. Now onto what I'm wearing today. Um, I'm wearing this really lovely smocked sort of bandeau top. Um, this I actually made using scraps of a Rose and Hubble um, poplin fabric, which I really, really love. I don't know if you can see from there, but it's a really lovely floral design with a really nice pastel green colour. Now, this was my first ever project of shirring, so it was really fun to make. And actually, I was really impressed with how it turned out. And because it's quite short, I didn't have enough fabric. I've actually paired it with a pair of H&M linen shorts, high-waisted which I really, really love, and with a linen shirt on top. But yeah, perfect for the spring weather that's hopefully coming in finally, because it's been so rainy recently. If you're here in the UK, I don't know what's going on. And as I say that, the light has just streamed from outside. <laughs> it can hear me call. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm wearing. I probably wouldn't wear this without this, because um, I'm a bit busty and this is a bit revealing. I think if I had more fabric, I probably would make some straps for this and just make it a little bit longer. Maybe have like a, a little flared area at the bottom here, but completely wearable the way it is. On to what else I'm wearing. This I don't think is available anymore, but I think I saw someone something similar on Etsy. And this is a really beautiful, um, almost like a dupe for like the Monica Vinader. I think it is Monica Vinader. They do this sort of tie detail here in the little chain and I actually got this engraved with my first thousand subscribers here on YouTube and yeah I really really love it. I wear it all the time and it's just a constant reminder of this lovely community that we have here so I'm ever so grateful but yeah I would highly recommend her customer service was just impeccable she was really friendly and she I really wanted something specific and she was able to achieve it so I will link this it down below if you want to get some personal message or whether you want it for a gift but I will definitely be getting uh, this in silver and maybe a gold as well hopefully for any future milestones so fingers crossed so yeah let's get on into the video and let's start with sewing plan number one now I really wanted to share with you kind of my aims for me made May this year I did the same last year and if you want to watch that video we'll link it down in the description box down below and I do definitely feel like I achieved that and it's something that I have kind of worked on throughout the year however my pleasure for this year is to not hold on to lovely fabric now this is something that I've always struggled with if I find a fabric that I absolutely love I will buy like three meters of it and I will hold on to it and I'll be so scared to use it because I don't want to ruin it and yeah I never just I never use it I think there's a perfect project that's 
just waiting to appear and I just don't use it. And it's such a shame to have such lovely pieces tucked away and that never sees the daylight. So yeah, that's definitely something that's on my list. I have got a few um, good fabrics that I'm going to be using as part of my sewing plans for me made in May. So hold on to see those. My second pledge is to recycle and re-thrift me made items that I've already made previously and that might be things that I maybe don't get as much wear out of maybe because of a certain design feature and it's something that I think that if I made an adjustment that I probably would wear more often so that's something that I definitely want to do I've got a couple of pieces that I don't love for various reasons some of them are the fabric choice and obviously in those situations it's probably best just to recycle the fabric but where there's some minor tweaks that could be made that's something that I definitely want to do for example, if you've watched my Istanbul vlog, you would have seen my free sewing pattern that I made from Peppermint magazine. A lovely ruffle top. However, I just don't think I wear it because of the sleeve length. And if I was to make it sleeveless, I definitely think I would get a lot more wear out of it. So it's those sort of things really that I want to start doing a little bit more. I don't want things to be gathering dust. It's just a waste. Why do it? So that's definitely a pledge that I'm going to be giving a go this month. And last but not least, my last pledge is the same as last year, is to use up the fabric that I already have in my stash. Now I've done really well with this so far. You would have seen from some of my thrifting videos and hauls that I've got up on my channel that I do end up finding some really good pieces. I think with thrifting though it's a little bit different. I think if you have the opportunity to find gorgeous fabric then I just say grab it because obviously you never know when you're going to find something just as lovely. But I also like to be on a constant hunt for really good quality plain fabrics because I think that's something that I always just want in my stash regardless so yeah those are kind of the conditions on not buying new things but I do think I've done really well this year but it's something I definitely want to carry on I still have quite a few fabric pieces in my stash that I do want to get through so hopefully in the next year my aim is to have a sewing room with really minimal fabric as storage. I want to be really, really mindful with every single piece of fabric that I purchase. Now, so sewing plan number one is using this lovely fabric. Now, you would have seen this on one of my videos previously. And it's this really lovely blue floral jersey. Now, this is one example of me holding onto fabric that I just really love. Again, I think there's like three meters of this. And yeah, I'm just so scared to go into it. I just don't want to ruin it. It's really lovely, lightweight, quite thin, lovely for summer. And, and I love the tones. I think it suits my skin tone really, really well. So I'm really excited to finally get stuck in. I'm not gonna hold on to things anymore. This deserves to be worn and I will wear it. <laughs> um, I will see if I can link something similar. This was a remnant from an old fabric shop that no longer exists, sadly. But I did manage to find something similar on Etsy, so I will link that down below if it's still available. Now, I have two options. I either want to make this wrap dress, which has been in my stash for a while and I haven't made it yet. However, I do have a wrap dress in my wardrobe that I existingly love to wear on repeat and unfortunately it has shrunk on the wash and I'm just thinking of maybe cloning it and obviously just extending where it's shrunk a little bit. Let me show you that dress. Now, this was um, a lovely wrap dress with sort of a fluted, almost like a butterfly style sleeve and it has this lovely bow detail here which wraps around. There's a button inside to kind of keep it all intact and a really lovely sort of midi length. Now this was from Primark, I think maybe about eight years ago. And I love this. I've got worn this so, so much and it's still very much wearable. But you can see from the fabric that obviously with washing it has grayed out a little bit. So I now get scared to wear it because I don't want to completely ruin it but I have a feeling I want to replicate this. It's a very similar consistency to the jersey that I've just shown you, so I think it would work really, really well. Um, I would say there is probably a lot of flashing going on down here. So I'm either going to make both panels just a little bit bigger width ways in order to just increase the coverage, um, but I could also add a little popper on the side just to Keep some modesty, but I think that's gonna be my plan. I've not cloned any of my items before, so this should be quite interesting. And obviously with it being stretched, there is a little bit of danger of obviously stretching out and getting it wrong, but let's try. It's all about trying. So 
yeah that's sewing plan number one now sewing plan number two i'm going to be making this dress which is a vintage style 4491 i just think these are absolutely gorgeous look at the designs of this beautiful puff sleeves they've actually used a little bit of rickrack on the sleeves which i actually don't hate could actually try that um lovely sort of fluted and tailored um skirt area with sort of paneling there's a collar option there's sort of buttons down the center option i mean i just love this i think i'm going to attempt this one first and i'm going to be using this which i've also had in my stash for a really really long time and is this really gorgeous i don't know if the camera's really going to pick up the color properly here but it's sort of a ditzy floral print white on a on a baby blue background and it's a cotton poplin so it's, it does have a little bit of structure but i think having a little bit of structure works really well for the puff sleeves now although i haven't made a dress out of this pattern before i have used the sleep the puff sleeve for a thrift flip which you will see on my next video which is what i brought on holiday to mauritius um and I recycled a maxi dress into a midi style dress with puff sleeves and I used this as the puff sleeve part of the thrift so stay tuned for that if you want to see that one. What I think is also really gorgeous on this is that this one actually has some front pockets and there's a really nice sort of darting and ruffling at the bust area so yeah I will keep you updated with how that turns out but I really love old sewing patterns. Um, this one I will need to grade so this is another little challenge that i'll be doing this month i haven't graded loads so yes that's also going to be a little bit of a challenge because size 12 i'll need to do it on a size 8 um but yeah that's sewing plan number two now on to sewing plan number three i'm going to be making another me address now you may have seen on my previous videos that i did make this in a black floral viscose which I absolutely love and I've worn so so much I pretty much made it identical but I did make the sleeve a little bit shorter than this but yeah it's one that I wear a lot and I've got so much wear out of it works perfectly for a viscose and I think it's just one of these perfect everyday dresses that you can just throw on whether you're on a holiday whether you're having a heat wave in the UK I think this is just lovely but you can also sort of dress it up with tights underneath and boots in the winter and cold months as well so I think this is a really good one to make so this will be my second make of this one now I'm going to be making it using this gorgeous fabric now this is actually a bed sheet or duvet cover yeah this is actually a duvet cover that I got from H&M and I think I got this for like nine pounds for a single um but considering that you have double sides and the pillowcase it's actually quite a lot of fabric on here now it's this really lovely very pastel minty green with lovely floral print and the size is perfect for this kind of dress now the dress that i made before was also a large floral print and i really loved how it turned out so that's making me feel very happy about this fabric now this screams spring so many levels you have a little bumblebee here and you have a little rabbit on this side and just the colors just speak to me for spring see i'm really really excited to make this one one thing that i will do differently i think on this dress is i think i will either do the v-neck as a little bit more plungy or i might actually make it as a round neck because i do feel that that suits me a little bit better but yeah let's see follow along and obviously I'll keep you updated but yeah this combination I'm just so so excited about now onto the next sewing plan I've had this thrifted bed sheet in my stash for quite a while I did make a draft excluder cover with some of it which to be honest I might steal that from because there's a really nice trim on that that I think I want to reuse and it's this lovely how gorgeous is this it's sort of a beigey cream um floor with sort of pink flowers on i just think it's absolutely gorgeous um, and like i said it was a bed sheet um i have a feeling i have some more remnants of this with really nice detailing on the edge if i find that i will just show you what that looks like because because you kind of understand what's inspired me and i'll also pop up a picture of a dress that's inspired this next design now it should be quite easy it should be a case of a set of rectangles but i will be completely self-drafting this dress i think with this fabric it would look so cute in kind of a mini style 
with a strap that's coming up here and a sort of a bow tie situation on both sides super fitted a panel just to under the bust and two tiers and kind of ending quite short as a mini dress I think this would look really really lovely I've again I've held on to this for way too long I, again I just didn't want to ruin it but I think the time has come it just needs to be used and it needs to be worn and it needs to be enjoyed so that's the plan for this one so guys, I really hope you enjoyed seeing my plans for this month. I would love to know what your plans are too, so do let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which one's your favourite and if you would do anything differently. I also do have my own website and Instagram, so I will leave all my links down below. And guys, I will see you in my next video. Love you all so much. Bye.